You know what I love about my profession? I don't have to lie because I got a terrible memory so I tell the truth. Think about it. And I live the truth. I practice what I preach, boy. Even my wife, she gets it. Come on, yeah, just for once now. Have this little thing or do this little. I can't do it. That's something. I'm a nut. But I enjoy it. I'm making Jack Lane happy. If I go the other way, it makes me unhappy. Elaine's got her life to live. You've got your life to live. All these wonderful guys behind the camera there, all these young guys, you know, they got their thing to do. You've got to make yourself happy. You've got to work at living. You've got to work at happiness. Life's a big pain in the gluteus maximus. You want me to use the other word? The hit. <laughs> well, speaking about when I first went on television, you know, in those days, you couldn't say, you know, a lot of nights, you can say hell or damn. In those days, I couldn't even say buttocks. Couldn't say breasts or anything like that. Oh, that was absolutely forbidden. Yeah, can you believe it? What did so you I mean? had to use expressions like front porch and back porch. I had all these little expressions for different parts of the body that you couldn't mention the names. You think things haven't changed? Think about it. And I think about when I first started business you know, way back then, everything was closed. You know, I was born in San Francisco and you wouldn't be seen dead going downtown without a tie and a coat. My mother would never go shopping without furs and a glove and all made up. Now you see people, they look like bums. You know, that shows that we start, we're slipping. See, we've lost this pride and discipline, like I was talking about. You know, I don't care what you say, you can call it vanity or what you want, but you have to have certain standards. Have you ever watched dogs or cats? how they print themselves, they keep themselves clean. See, they've got pride and discipline, but people don't have it. You want some of these kids today, God, they're so fat and out of shape, every other word, the this word and that word, you can't give them any kind of guidance of any kind. They rebel against school, they rebel with their parents and friends. See, these kids, they should be taught pride and discipline, like I said before, from kindergarten. The number one thing, pride and discipline, they can carry the body and the mind. And we've got to get this in school. That's why I just, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a very good friend of ours, and I just love this man. And someday people are going to listen to Arnold. He's going to get physical education back in school, start taking care of our kids. You know, most of the schools don't even have physical education now. You think about it. When I went to school, man, that was a must.